So this is a topping concrete, and it's it's nice size. It's about an inch thick. It's got good good concrete on top of it. Now, look what's on top of it. The direction of the the direction of the uh, joint. I'm sorry, guys. It's that direction. Let's. And so the strength of it would be this direction more so. If I hit it here, we know it's going to crack pretty easily down this seam. But if I turn it this way, it might take a little more love because these two are integral now. They're they're really they're really bonded. They're, they're really bonded. So let's go ahead and give it a love tap and see how good that bond is. It won't take much. Well, let's do it over here where not the, where the whole thing's the seam. So let's go. The vibration, it didn't break, break this pad, nor did it break this. But the vibration broke free the two of these together. The connection, interesting enough, where it was impacting, it didn't separate it, but the vibration made it over to the other piece, made it over to the other piece and broke its bond. So this is what we're talking about, bond. Isn't that interesting? There's a crack down this piece here too. So there is a fine crack. You have developed camera over. Where is it? Right there, starting here, there's a fine crack. It went across, it goes across there. Let's see if I can now. So now we'll put, now this piece is the, is the weaker piece, because it's smaller aggregate, that's the larger one. So we'll probably get a more resistance, hopefully. And there we go. Just right on through, no reinforcement. So that was a good two inches of concrete, bond it well, bond it well. Now let's see if we can break the bond. Let's see if we can break the bond of these two. It's smaller now, so the surface, the surface tension on this is pretty damn big. Pretty darn big. And there we are. We broke the bond because it's just a surface bond. But it's 100% works as long as it stays tight and flat. Ow, that hurt my finger. Ow. I'm done. And one go ready. And there you go. He found a heart. Isn't that sweet? I'm still looking for my heart. He found his in concrete. Okay, we're working hard here. We have this uh, stone. Uh, what the hell? What's up, 99? He's 17 years old. I call him 99 because he moves like a 99 year old and he, he always finds a way to find something very creative. In all my years, I've never seen somebody this creative before come up with a wheelbarrow seat. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, one time. One time, huh? Yeah, I'll give you an A for that. We got Brucey here. We got Georgie in a second, but right now we got to watch Brucey do his thing. Georgie, that all this concrete will be used in the videos. Georgie, what do you have to say? Looks like you might be a little bit snagged, buddy. Georgie, what do we got to say there, dude? What do we got to say there, dude? They're tied together via their leash. Uh-oh, cow cat, cow cat. All right. I'll let, I'll let go of the answer now. I said staples. I said uh, I would show you how to put the concrete back together with a staple. Well, lo and behold, look at this. It's a piece of rebar shaped in the form of basically a staple. Let's see if I can get you zoomed out here a little bit. And we can get to the content. So what I'm going to do, 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 is drill. Oh, uh, shout out to a couple of the uh, viewers that that uh, I apologize, you know, you're, 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 you're really being deleted by YouTube. A couple of your comments are, I'm, I approve them because YouTube blocks them. I approve them, then I try to go comment on them, and they're just, they've just been ghosted. 
couple of people, quite a few people actually have been complaining now, and I've been deleting some of them because there's like so many of them, that's saying, I see nothing but lines in the video. Well, obviously, uh, I didn't put lines up. So, obviously, YouTube is having a little fun with my, with my content. Now putting, giving people lines. Um, I can't find out the, uh, what they have in common, the viewers um, that are watching, seeing lines in the video. Okay, so staples. Let's go ahead and get to, let's get to adding some pieces together. Let's add this piece of scrap concrete there. And then, this just came off the back of the truck, so I let it slide off a bit. And then let's let it add this piece. How are we gonna do that? I'm going to drill them together. Drill holes into this, these two pieces. Bear with me. All right. Bear with me. Bruce and George will be the assistants in the background. I'm trying to set this camera up so that stick, try, I got the smaller tripod so it doesn't take a dive. All right, there we go. Bruce and George. So what do we have here? Oh yeah, you gotta be pretty badass to wear a hat like this, right? And, to hold it, wait for it. Wait for it. Pink hard-toed sneakers. Ah. And they're not mine, I had to borrow them. And it was some girls I borrowed them from. So, I need them. I wanna see what they felt like. They feel good enough for me. She doesn't use them anymore. So, I've got no shame. So first off, let me line it. Let me parallel this up a little bit. All right, so it's just parallel. Staple, staple. No, well, not quite parallel. Well, that's a nice fracture. Let's put it on top of this concrete. Oh. That sort of works for me. That sort of works. Okay. This is the boys. You guys stuck or what? They can see at least. I don't have dumb catch. Bruce is very smart. There you go. Get a cow. Get a cow. Cow cat. All right. Back to this. I'm going to drill two holes. I'm not going to use epoxy in the first part of this example. We're just going to show you the intent and see if you can figure it out. So we're going to bottom reinforce this deal. And I'll go here. The bit I used, and it is. It goes all the way through. Now let me line it up with this one. And it's gonna take a little trickery because I don't really have this staple flat. It should be more flat, not with this curvature in it. So I'm trying to uh, make this happen for a fast video for you guys. Let's do this one so I can mark off where I need to be. It would be this will close up and this will line up so so now let's go ahead and drive it through you know what i'm going to do i'm going to cut this i'm going to cut these ears off a little bit Bit of a gap here we got a huge gap actually so I need to uh, resolve that I need to resolve that 
resolve this with the... You see, I've got a huge gap here. This is where epoxy would work nice, but let's still keep it in a staple form. Now, you see what happened there? See what the staple did? It, trans it, put it, it transfers a load, but I need to close this gap up. This is the small version of the staple. The exterior staple, if you will. Now imagine if I could do this a little bit better. The bend here. So let's work on that. Let's see if I can clean that up. So now let's look at not one, but two staples in the system. One and two. And then we're, uh, we'll look at it dry, so we'll test fit it dry, which you saw already, and I'll test it with the second one. The second one, as you can see, is going to be more profiled, flat. It's got some welded ends. Now, we're going to try some Seco on this one. Anchoring product. Doesn't matter which product you use. Let's go ahead and let me drill these holes, clean them out, and then put the epoxy in. Oh, first we'll dry it, dry test it, and then epoxy it. I guess you might want to see me drill it and see how I do it. All right, so that's bottomed out. Let's line this, get this together. Let's get this back in alignment. So to do that, you would use some temporary shoring, right? But in our case, my temporary shoring will be pipe plants to get this back in alignment right here. This is a rebar kind of tight right there. Okay, so let's get this back in alignment. So there's the shoring, putting it back in place. Now you see the closed up, it's closed up, all right? So there's your temporary shoring. That was the clamp that you saw close the joint back up. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll loosen it again and let you watch it again. Right here. Let's move that out of the way a little bit. And I'll loosen it. You see it open. Now we're going to shore it as if the posts were there. Close it back up. inject that while you close it and then you would probably add the staple secondarily okay so now you saw that now this part really matters I got to line these line this up just right the staple if you will so got to get this right parallel hopefully I'm hopefully I nailed it right about there She's flat. Now, she's flat, right? There you go. So there's your staple I mentioned. Now let's take the clamp off and see how much we lose. Well, we'll lose some until I flip it over. We'll lose some of the, it'll open up somewhat because the steel, the reinforcement's at the top, not the bottom. But once I flip it over, we'll, 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 get, we'll get it all back. So we'll lose some, like I said. So now it's open. But the, the steel here is now in com compression, actually. So let's go ahead and put it on top of this concrete. Let's see if I can get that in the video. Make sure it's in the video for you guys. Nope. Okay. Let's zoom out a bit. Man, I'm hot. Worked all day. So look, now I'll turn it over, put it on this ledge. And I'll step on it. 
And you see now how the staple worked. And I'll step on it. And you see now how the staple worked. Let's see if you can get that in the video. You see how the staple worked now. That was a fully broken two pieces of concrete. And now the staple is bonding it without any epoxy yet. The staple is bonding the two sides, the two halves together. It, and it pinned in here, and pinned in here, right? Yep, bloody hands. So, the epoxy in here would help the compression part where this is trying to close. That would help in that part, that capacity, by epoxying this section in here. But you can see now where I had broken concrete though, but I'm able to load it. I'm able to load it. So, there's your answer on how, they, how that works when you're trying to figure out, when you're doing it from the underside like that, the staple that I said, that I'll use a staple to do the repair, and you'll see it. You know I like playing with words, so the staple was basically that. Now we'll do another section in here, perhaps. And maybe, and then you, of course you epoxy inside. And if you, if you wanted to do the tension side on this side, maybe you would do, you know, if you worried about it, you would come up here and do the, uh, well, they're, they're not, they're not bent enough. Anyway, you can imagine that that would work that way also. Okay. So, we'll see where we go with this with you guys. So you can start following this along. Imagine epoxy though, how the epoxy would really bring this together to also making it act as one. We still have a gap between that steel and the hole I made, so there's some play there. We still have a crack right here, so there's play there until I get rid of it. And let's end the video with Brucey and Georgie. Bruce, say hello. Bruce, say hello. Bruce, say hello. Okay, that's a rub against you guys, just so you know, we just rubbed the camera. Good boy, Bruce. George? Say hello, George. Well, George doesn't say hello, actually. Bruce is the hello one. Br George is the uh, lovely lover. Bruce is the talker. Right, Bruce? George, Bruce.